Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger West London Suicidal. It's Saturday today, Boxing Day. I don't know if you guys uh, care much for Boxing Day. I never, well, I used to when I was when I was young. But uh, these days especially, it's like, I don't know, I'm not, eh, like, stores don't really do as much anymore for their sales. And the sales last so much longer, it's all online anyway, you know. Like, Amazon was running Boxing Day sales on, like, Christmas Eve, I think. It's not really, it's not really Boxing, you know, they went from, like, Boxing Day to, like, Boxing Week, and now it's, like, Boxing Month, and, you know, it's, uh, it's all, uh, a mess. But it's Boxing Day today, I, uh, haven't even looked at any stores, I just, I don't care, you know? I, I'm not really somebody. I, I'm not really somebody to, to worry about sales and stuff like that. It just um, you know, it's it's just it's a stressor, right? You know, you 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 you're like, oh, I gotta like look on it and like see what kind of deals I can get, and you know, maybe I can save some money on something I'm planning to buy anyway. And it's like, you know, yeah, but at the same time, you're you're spending time and going out of your way and and doing all this, and you find it fun, then like. That's great, you know. <laughs> you, you're finding a fun and you're saving money. That's like a <sighs> that's a big win right there, right? Um, oh, I'm yawning. <laughs> I don't know why. That's a big win. Um, yikes. Uh, but for me, it's just it's just stress, you know. Like I wouldn't. Uh, I don't particularly want. Which I think that's the other thing is, is like if there isn't anything you need, like Boxing Day, you're not saving money, right? Like like if you go on Boxing Day and you buy a Switch that you weren't already planning on buying, you're not saving money. You're spending money, and then you know you're, you're spending less money than if you would have bought it a different day. But you weren't planning to buy it a different day, so you're not saving money. You're, you're still spending money, you know. And uh, you know it's it's not ultimately that valuable to me. I just I don't really care, is, is what it boils down to. I'd, I'd rather just live um, a life, not worry about the sales, buy stuff when I can, and if it, mean, if it means I get less stuff, if it means I get less stuff, then uh, then so be it, you know? I'm not, uh, I'm not upset by that. I'm not upset by that at all. It's fine, you know? Because uh, it's all about that opportunity cost. About uh, not having to worry about... Oh my god, my eye keeps twitching lately. I don't know why. Um, it's all its all about, you know, the, the, the not having to worry about stress. I'm, I'm paying money to live a, a calmer, more relaxed lifestyle, you know? And I think, I think that's valuable. I think a lot of people underestimate the value of that. You don't need a lot of things if you can be satisfied with a little, right? Break time's over. Get back to work. And uh, I'm I'm definitely easily satisfied, so I don't really I don't really concern myself with uh, having to have a whole lot of things. I mean, that, it's nice to have a lot of things, you know, of course, but you know, I uh, don't need them. If if uh, maybe if uh, like a cool knife was on like a sale or something like that, I don't know. But it's just it's just you know you you have to go and look on it. It's just it's such a stressful, time-consuming thing. I much rather just be like like there there are things that I'm gonna be buying eventually, right? Like I'm going to be buying a NAS. Um, right now I just have a, a six terabyte hard drive coming that I'm just gonna stick in my PC. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna be buying a NAS eventually, right? So I, I could go shopping for NAS parts, get like a computer case, motherboard, cheap CPU, some RAM, drives, you know, like any of that kind of stuff. Those those are things that I'm gonna be buying anyway and I'll be able to save money on it. Um, I'm gonna want more knives. You know, I'm gonna want a, a utility knife, I'm gonna want shears, I'm gonna want uh, like some cutting boards, pots, pans. Um, I'm gonna want, you know, like like there are a lot of things that I'm gonna be buying eventually. 
right? Like things that, that I definitely have plans to buy eventually that would probably be on sale right now. It's just like, I don't have the budget to go and buy all of them, even if they are on sale. So like, how do I figure out which one I want right now? And, you know, like, are there, which, which, you know, which, which sales are the best and like doing all this research and finding the thing that actually works the best for me. And it's just like, nah, I'd, I'd rather just wait until the time comes that I'm going to be buying it and just spend a little bit extra money and not have to, to go through that, that time consuming, you know, ordeal. I have to put up with it. It's a lot better for me. My uh, my family went out to to Best Buy this morning, though. Well, not this morning, this afternoon. Um, they went out to Best Buy, and I don't know what they got. They all got something, you know. I'm like, I don't know. I uh, I have money. <laughs> you, you you have stuff. I have money. You know, Wh which one's more valuable, really? You know, who 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 can say? You know, they they got to go have fun, buy something that they like. I get to have financial stability. Which which is more valuable at the end of the day? And I'm not, I'm not being facetious. You know, it's it's a genuine. You know, like you can't you can't really know. I mean, if you're in a position where your finances are a problem, then of course the the financial stability, the money is is of course going to be the better one. Um, but, uh, you know, it's like, oh, dear lord. Thank god the flesh pounds just, like, launch you so far, you know? I thought this was on fire, and I'm like, oh my god, where did we go? I panicked for a moment. Um, but, you know, you can't really, you can't really say whether, you know, the, the security, the confidence that uh, financially you're fine is going to be better than um, being able to, because it kind of comes back to the same thing, right? Like, if you're not enjoying yourself, then what's the point of having all that money, right? But, I mean, it's just stressful, so I don't I don't take part in it. Not too much. I'll probably look on Amazon later, um, take a look, see if there's any good deals on clothes, maybe. I need, uh, I need some shorts, I need some shirts, I need some pants, you know? If I can find uh, like a really solid deal on something, I'll probably pick it up. You know, I doubt there will be anything, but I uh, I like looking on Amazon for for clothes all the time anyway, because sometimes you get a good deal. Usually Amazon's pretty garbage for clothes, but um, sometimes you can find a really nice deal. So I mean, I'll, I'll probably take a peek at it later. Um, that's that's the extent of it, right? Just because just it's something that I, I, I do all the time anyway. It's, it's not really a stressful thing. And if I can find something that I like that's on sale as well, then, you know, that's great. I'm getting all these, like... You ever get the feeling like you have something crawling around on you? Because that's what I've got right now. I'm, like, itching everywhere right now. I don't know why. I just I have this, this feeling that there's something on me. Probably isn't. You know? It's just uh, panic. Hysteria. But, uh... You know, it, uh, it happens. I'm scratching everything, dude. <laughs> scratching it all. I'm feeling generous. I do need new clothes, though. My clothes go disappearing all the time. They just up and disappear. People steal them. They steal them all, dude. Let's see, West London. I know, it's KF West London. Or is it West London? Is it down here? Where is it? <laughs> I'm having trouble. KF, 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 KF1 West London. That's right. I was looking for KF West London, but it's KF, KF1. Alright, 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 alright. So it does, it ignores the KF underscore. But since it was KF underscore KF1 K underscore went to the K section. That's okay. That's okay. Here we go. The mission is underway. Lock and load. It's a fun map. 
It's a fun map. It's definitely my favorite map, I think, from... Definitely, I think. Uh, from KF1. Maybe we'll play some KF1 one day. I'm not good at it. Like, that's the thing, is, uh, KF2... Alright, you might look at my, my gameplay here and be like, Wow, you're, like, pretty good at this game, you know? And, uh, you'd be totally right. But, um... KF1, I'm not, I'm not as good at. I just, I don't have as much experience with it, you know? I got, I got a few hundred hours in, in KF2. In KF1, I've got, um... You know, like... A hundred hours, maybe? If that? 100, 150, 180-ish, you know? I didn't, uh... I didn't do it too much. It was it was like a game that I enjoyed and one that I went back to all the time. It was definitely one of my favorite games at the time, but I, I didn't like find it until fairly like I don't know. I, I played it for like 70, 80 hours or something like that. I don't know. Like I probably have more than that. I don't know, I have no idea how many hours I have in KF1. But I'm I'm better at KF2 is the moral of the story. Just the uh, the gun feel in KF2 is a lot better, you know. It's just a much it's much it's a much better game. KF2 is, is better than KF1, and you know it happens uh, all the time when a game will come out and then they'll you know release a sequel or something like that. It's like nah, the first was better. I'll just play the first. KF2 I feel like is not one of those games. KF2 I feel like it, it came out and just from the start it was just like yeah, no there there's like. Almost no reason to play KF1 ever again. For a while, there was, for sure. Uh, just because, like, some of the perks in KF1 just weren't replicated in KF2. You didn't get to fight the Patriarch. You know, the maps weren't quite as well designed from, from like, a modded perspective or, like, additional maps, you know? Um, like, there, there, there just wasn't as much stuff to do in, in KF2. So for a while, yeah, like definitely, you know, going back to KF1 to, to play some of that kind of stuff was, was fine. Um, but, uh, you know, after after we got all the new bosses and uh, people started making like all kinds of maps for it and we started to get more updates and the perks were starting to get kind of fleshed out and all this kind of stuff happened. It's like, yeah, there's just like no reason to play KF1 ever again anymore. I know some people go back to it, but I just, I feel like it's just kind of nostalgia glasses to me. Because it's a, like, I, to me, it's, a, it's not a better game. <laughs> it's a great game, KF1. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a fabulous game. KF2 is just, like, a direct upgrade, you know what I mean? It's just straight up better. In, in every possible respect, I think. And for some reason, that's a controversial opinion. <laughs> you know, like, like a lot of people really like KF1 and they don't like KF2. I think it's because of a lot of the DLC and... I kind of get it. Sort of. But at the same time, like... KF2 without all of the DLC is still a better game than KF1. So... <laughs> you know, I just... But a lot of the times, uh, a game will come out, and I'll I'll, f I'll feel like the the second is is just like not as good. Um, I can't think of any examples off the top of my head, but it, it happens all the time. You know, all the time. I think uh, Smash Bros. might have been one. the The original Smash Bros. was better than the one for the GameCube, I think. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I played either of them. Because there's a Smash on 64, and there was Smash on the GameCube, and I, I believe Smash on uh, 64 was better, in my opinion. But again, it's been a long time since I played them. I couldn't actually tell you, like, either way. I'm not even. I might even be lying. Smash on GameCube might be my favorite. I don't even know, dude. That you know, uh, Mario Party though. Mario Party. Uh, there were a couple of them that that I like did not like. Um, a few Mario parties that I, I felt were just, like, not that good, to be honest. Couldn't tell you which ones. 
Um, she shoots, she kills. Super Mario Galaxy 2, I think, might fall into that. Super Mario Galaxy was like an amazing game. Super Mario Galaxy 2, I don't think I ever beat. Um, speaking of games I've never beaten, uh, Majora's Mask. I get a lot of flack for that one, actually. I get a lot of flack for not ever playing Majora's Mask. I think I might have talked about it before, but just like the concept of it, the idea that makes up Majora's Mask just seems completely interesting to me. People have uh, been like, hey, you should like play it. And every now and then I'm, I get this this like inkling to be like, maybe I'll do like a, a, a little series on Majora's Mask. Um, and uh, see how it goes. Um, but then, then I, I remember, like, no, it's it, it it's timed. You know, it's timed, so you can't do that. Um, oops, it's been a while since we've had one of those, and it just doesn't interest me. I, I I'm not into the whole like feeling like I'm being rushed through the game. And people are like, oh, it's not rushed. Like you, you get to sleep when you want to, and it's not rushed. You, know, you get to make no, no, no. It, it's rushed. I'll, I will feel rushed. You know, the, the game is designed to make you have feel this sense of urgency behind it. I am going to feel that sense of urgency, and it's not going to be very fun for me. Um, I just, I don't enjoy that kind of thing. Like, um, Final Fantasy 13 kind of did a similar thing. Final Fantasy 13 is my favorite Final Fantasy game, and you know that's another controversial opinion um, because a lot of people think that it's like this super linear. Um, story without you know being able to like really like explore the world or whatever and I'm like yeah it's a Final Fantasy game literally all of them are linear <laughs> they are all linear and they're like well no you know Final Fantasy you know six was open world or whatever and I'm like no they all they all have a written story you don't get to like alter the story okay if you do it's, it's not in a major significant way okay you're not like killing off you know, characters and like completely altering the way the the world works. No, like there there's a story. They wrote the story. My God, stop! It's my mother texting me dinner, even though I already told her I don't want it. Like 18 times today. Um, but it's, it's like all of the Final Fantasy games are all uh, are all um, linear, right? And and Final Fantasy 13 might feel a little bit more railroaded. You know, it might feel a little bit more like you're kind of locked into to the one way to, to do things, but I didn't really get that feeling. You know, I, I I got the feeling that you you know after about like what was it chapter seven or something like that, like it opened up a lot, um, and you got to explore and kind of make your own decisions, and there was kind of the overarching story that was going on, but uh, ultimately you got to kind of make your own decisions and build your own stuff and, and meet new characters and quests and, and all of this kind of stuff and it was it was really really fun it's definitely one of my favorite games Final Fantasy 13 and it's definitely one of my, it's definitely my favorite Final Fantasy um, Final Fantasy 2 I also liked that was playing as a uh, lightning the main character from Final Fantasy 13 1 uh, her sister was the main character in that one and it was kind of a similar thing um, just uh, with the and this one was much more open world, more open ended. Uh, you got to kind of like decide more stuff and kind of go about your way the way that you want to, and yada yada yada. Uh, really, really liked that one as well. It was really, really good. And then Final Fantasy XIII uh, was Lightning Returns. So, Lightning, the main character from Final Fantasy XIII 1, came back. Uh, you got to play with her, and she was kind of like traveling through time and trying to like fix all of the the things that they kind of screwed up over the the past little while um, and and get everything kind of back in working order but there was a time limit you know so and it was like real time too so it, it really gave me that feeling of urgency like I have to like do this and I I, I I got to the point where it was like really stressing me out trying to like contend with this time limit and like get everything done in time to to make it happen and I just I stopped playing it. I didn't play it again. I didn't touch it. I have like the collector's edition, you know. I've got like the 
the little stopwatch and all the artwork and CDs and like all that kind of stuff. I got the collector's edition. I love it. But uh, just just feeling that sense of urgency is, is super super and fun for me. We might play Final Fantasy Thirteen on uh, on this channel though. We might. I could do that, like three hour videos or something like that once a week or something. Just to to have uh, some fun with it. Anyway. Um, yeah, Final Fantasy 13 3 kind of reminds me of Majora's Mask. And it kind of really cements that I'm just never going to play Majora's Mask. Because I really loved Final Fantasy 13 3, Lightning Returns. Up until the moments when I started feeling that stress from the time. And I'm like, like I have to like... Like, I was really enjoying, like, kind of, like, taking my time and sightseeing and, like, doing all this kind of stuff. And then it was, like, you have, like, you know, three days left. You have eight hours left. You have three hours left. And I'm, like, I, um, I'm just never going to play it again. <laughs> I'll probably, I'll probably beat it at some point. But, like, it was just, it was really stressful. And, like, I don't want to feel that stress when I'm playing games, you know? And then Majora's Mask kind of gives me the same thing, and it just kind of scares me. But people get mad at me when I say I'm playing Majora's Mask because it's like Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask are like the two like you know Zelda games that that everybody should play if they're a Zelda fan. You know what I mean? But Majora's Mask is definitely not a game I'm ever going to play. I don't think. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like the video, if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.